Welcome to Guac Gaming. Guac King here to sort through all of these tonics and pamphlets that came along with the Naturalist update in Red Dead Online. I'm gonna go over all the tonics and what they do and then talk about their prices versus buying the pamphlets and crafting them yourself. Specifically going over the break even point so that you know if these pamphlets are actually worth it or not. So let's get into it. So first let's talk about the tonics that you can't buy a pamphlet for. So the Hardy Tonic disables damaging weather effects for a period of time, costs 15 bucks. So really all the Hardy Tonic is, so if you're wearing a warm outfit when it's cold, or if you're wearing a cold outfit when it's warm, if you drink this tonic, then it won't hurt your health to be wearing whatever you wanna wear. I think they put this in the game because all the legendary animal coats you can craft from Gus are warm. So you can't wear them anywhere where it's warm out, but if you pop this tonic, then you can wear it wherever you want. So that's all that is, pretty cool. Weight gain tonic and weight loss tonics mean exactly that. Some people don't know that if you weigh a lot, then you actually have higher health and less stamina. And if you weigh less, you have higher stamina and less health. But these weight gain and loss tonics are just fast ways to get to whatever weight you're trying to be at. And then you have potent weight gain tonic and potent weight loss tonic. These just get you to the maximum and minimum level with one pop. So if you're trying to gain or lose weight, these would be the way to go. Just buy one of them and get there. Okay, so those tonics are all pretty straightforward. If you want them, you get them. But these next four tonics are a little trickier because you can buy pamphlets for them. So I wanna look at, are the pamphlets worth buying or are you just better off buying them as you need them from Harriet? So first, let's take a look at the blending tonic. So blending tonics are basically like cover scent lotions, but on steroids. So they're pretty useful when tracking down animals in general, but specifically legendary animals. To craft blending tonic, first you need to buy the pamphlet for $525. And then once you buy the pamphlet, you can either craft them with Indian tobacco and grizzly bear sample or Indian tobacco and American black bear sample. Now I'd recommend going with the black bear sample because it sells for $3.65 to Harriet, whereas the grizzly bear sells for $5.85. So to get the same blending tonic, the opportunity cost is a little less if you use black bear. Now you can also use panthers and you can also use Florida panthers, but those animals are so hard to come by, I really would not recommend using them to make a blending tonic. Now blending tonics cost $22.50 from Harriet. If you consider that $3.65 is what you could get for just simply selling the samples back to Harriet, then you have to consider that opportunity cost when you're considering the break even point. So considering that, you'll have to craft 28 blending tonics before you break even. Which, considering the amount of legendary animals in the game and more to come, that's actually not that bad. So I'd say the blending tonic pamphlet is worth the money. All right, now let's talk about the Varmint Rifle Sedative Rounds. So the Varmint Rifle Sedative Round pamphlet is gonna run you $585. And you need to either use a Varmint Rifle Round and Crush Valerian Root, or you can use a Varmint Rifle Round and Prairie Poppy, which is nice because Prairie Poppy didn't have a use up until this update. But since you can only hold 30 Prairie Poppy at a time and Crush Valerian Root, you can't come by consistently. You can't really craft that many of these rounds in one go, but those things are typically free. So the opportunity cost is $0. Now you can buy a Varmint Rifle Sedative Round from Harriet for 25 cents. So to make your $585 back, you have to craft 2,340 Varmint Rifle Sedative Rounds to break even. That is a massive amount of rounds to craft. And if you consider the grind of collecting 2,340 Prairie Poppies alone, it would be absolutely crazy to think you're gonna make your money back on these sedative rounds. So that being said, I would not recommend getting the Varmint Rifle Sedative Round pamphlet. Huge waste of money. All right, let's take a look at Animal Revivers now. So the Animal Reviver pamphlet costs $550. 
and they require ginseng and horse reviver, or if you can craft them, you can use special horse revivers as well. Now this one's pretty straightforward. Ginseng, first of all, is required in some health tonics and it can be useful elsewhere. But even before considering that, you don't have to revive animals. There are daily challenges for reviving animals, go for it. But the only other reason you would need to revive animals is if you find a legendary animal in free roam and you and your buddies all wanna get pictures of the animal, sedate the animal, and really you only need to have a handful to be able to do that. So at $5 a pop from Harriet, just buy animal revivers, unless you really like reviving every animal you sedate, but that to me would be a massive waste of money, just like this pamphlet was for me. All right, now onto the legendary animal pheromones. Now legendary animal pheromones are pretty useful when you find legendary animals in free roam. As soon as the question mark pops up on your screen, you could throw these down and it'll pretty much tell you exactly where the legendary animal is. It doesn't attract them, it's not a bait, but it'll just let you know where to look for them. So these are pretty useful and they cost 20 bucks a pop from Harriet. But let's take a look at what it costs to create them and see if they're worth buying the pamphlet. Now the pamphlet's $900, so it is not cheap. And then to create them, you need a skunk sample, a black-tailed rabbit sample, and a gray wolf, or a skunk, rabbit, and a timber wolf. Now, if you sold these samples to Harriet, you generate about $3.35. And that won't matter whether you're using the timber wolf or the gray wolf, because those samples are worth the same. If you subtract that opportunity cost with the $20 that it costs to buy the animal pheromones, you'd get $16.65. Divide 900 by $16.65, and you've got 54. So you'd have to craft 54 legendary animal pheromones to break even on it if you buy the pamphlet at 900 bucks. Now, if you consider that there's a ton of legendary animals in a game right now and they're drip feeding more and more every week, and also that you have to encounter every legendary animal at least twice to finish them off 100% in the animal field guide. Also, sometimes you drop more than one pheromone depending on your situation and where the animal is. I'd actually say that this pamphlet's worthwhile. Now, it's also important to consider for your own play style what's important to you. If you don't really care about the animal field guide and you just wanna get some jackets, I wouldn't spend the money on this. But if you're like me and you see completing the animal field guide as a goal, then yeah, I'd go ahead and get this pamphlet. It's gonna be worthwhile in the end. All right, if you found this guide helpful, drop me a like and subscribe for more Red Dead Online content. Next time you bring the chips, cause I got the guac.